During the time from Thanksgiving to the first week of January, that is when the Red Cross says they see a drop in the number of blood donations. But also during this time of year with accidents during the winter months, they say they actually need more blood. And without the blood donations from everyone out there, I wouldn't be here to speak to you all right now. The last four years have had major ups and downs for Shelly Sullivan. She was diagnosed with breast cancer and the cancer has now moved into her spine. We were on our last surgery and thought we were in the clear. Um, and then after the surgery, unfortunately, my body just started shutting down on its own. At that time, her doctor told her she needed to get a blood transfusion right away. Did you think of that, like a transfusion for breast cancer? What's going on? What's, you know, the tumor was blocking my blood cells. Shelly's story is just one of many that is behind the Red Cross's push for blood donations. I think when you are able to, you know, donate blood and, you know, you know, save a life, it's very, very important. And so, um, you know, I'm just reminded of stories like Shelly's and it's just satisfying to know that you can make a difference in a big way and you can directly impact someone's life. Last year during the holiday season, there was a big drop in donors leading to nearly 64,000 fewer blood and platelet donations. I know you think that, oh, maybe tomorrow I can do it, maybe the next day. Well, people like myself and others, that need the blood, they can't wait another day. Over the next few weeks, there are several blood drives going on across the state, and families like Shelley's hope that you will roll up your sleeve to help save another person's life. Nicole Griffin, RTV6.